This is Banjo, and today I'm going over CCIP bomb release in the SU-25T. Looking at the airframe, we can see several types of bombs loaded onto the aircraft, and by pressing 7 on the keyboard, we can bring up the weapons page. The first thing we're able to notice is the no launch text displayed in the center, indicating that we're unable to launch due to either low altitude, or in this case, the fact we're parked. We're able to see the weapons panel, located in the bottom center of the cockpit, with the top row of lights indicating which stations have weapons on them, and the bottom row indicating which stations are selected. In the upper right-hand corner of the weapons status panel, we can see the weapon type indicator. The indicator itself, like most of the aircraft, is in Cyrillic, so I'll list in the video description what exactly each symbol represents. On the HUD, we can see that we also have a symbol in the bottom right, in this case, B indicating bombs. Moving on to the weapon system control panel, we have two knobs that we can adjust for bombs. In this case, the first being the release mode switch, which allows us to set the delay, in this case between 0.1, 2, 3, and 4 seconds. The next is the salvo size switch, which will allow us to adjust how many bombs are released. In this case, we have one pairs, four bombs at a time, and simultaneous release. As I roll in on target, you'll be able to see as the CCIP release pipper will appear once the aircraft is within launch constraints. This will happen at about a 45 degree dive. Then at this point, you simply have to place the CCIP release pipper on the location you want to release the bombs on, and depending on how you have the weapon system control panel set up, hold down weapons release until the series is complete. Points to remember are to make sure you have enough angle of attack to make the CCIP reticle to appear. Be sure the letters LA appear in the HUD. This will indicate launch authorized. And make sure to control your speed in the descent.